Meteor version 1.6 has the ability to support audio interfaces with multiple in and outputs, as well as record multiple tracks simultaneously. For more information on this, please see our dedicated video on multi-track recording. In previous versions of Meteor, the home and end buttons on the transport bar simply move the play cursor to the beginning and end of your project. Meteor now allows you to add markers to the timeline and navigate these using the home and end buttons. To add a marker, first position the play cursor, tap and hold in the ruler until the markers pop-up menu appears, then select add marker. The markers menu is also available from the main edit menu. You can repeat this process to add markers to verse, chorus, bridge, etc. And then use the home and end button to page between them. A new info button has been added to Meteor's track view, which allows you to quickly see the track type. Tap and hold on the track name to edit. Meteor now supports the importing of Type 0 MIDI files. In this case, I'm importing a file from my Dropbox. When Meteor encounters a Type 0 MIDI file, you'll be asked whether you wish to dissolve the track into multiple parts. Here I'm changing the colour so it's easier to see the notes when I switch to the MIDI editor. The Overview button in the MIDI editor now works independently of Track View. In this case, the overview window displays the notes on the selected track. The MIDI editor now includes a MIDI event inspector. This dialog allows you to view a list of MIDI events, either by note or controller type. You can use this dialog to select, delete or dissolve events into multiple tracks. Let's use the event inspector to separate out all the drum notes on channel 10 to a separate editable part. The selected events are now colour coded red. Use the Dissolve by Selected Events option from the Edit menu to move these notes to a new MIDI part. The Video plugin now allows exporting of the videos complete with audio track. Here I'm importing a video from Dropbox to export alongside my pre prepared audio track. Please note we can now export to both the camera roll and file. In this case I'm going to mute the original audio before exporting. This update means that rather than using the video as a guide for your music, you can now attach a score to your video and export the result. While the 16 to 24 track upgrade was included in the last update, we can use it to demonstrate the overview feature in the mixer when in 24 track mode. Once the upgrade has been purchased, you can use the track count on the options menu to switch to 24 track mode. On smaller projects, it may be advantageous to use 16 tracks to reduce resource usage and scrolling in the mixer. The Overview button on the mixer will allow you to see all 24 tracks at once. The following list includes other new features we've been unable to cram into this video. I was going to sing to you during this bit, but the rest of the For Pockets team said no. Don't forget to check out our other videos on forpockets.com and follow us on Twitter for up to the minute news.